time for work! Ha ha ha! Hey guys, it's the summer going into my senior year of college, so it's important to get that real life work experience. So I got myself a summer internship. Let me show you through a typical day in the life at my summer internship. Engineering. Oh my god. Learn to speak better. Hey guys, it's the college, senior year of college. <laughs> oh, and I've been getting a lot of requests to do a shirtless video. So, okay, okay come on guys. Seriously, who do you think I am? Do you know like how immature that would be and how obscene it would be if I were to just to sit here and talk and not have a shirt on and it's just, that's inappropriate. Okay, but seriously, if you want one, just go check out my Instagram or just message me and ask me nicely and I'll probably send it to you on Snapchat, but I'm not going to just sit here and do it on YouTube, okay? Anyways, I digress. I work for the Public Works Department at the City of Sammamish which is um, pretty much anything that has to do with the maintenance of the city. So I work with the pavement team. So we do anything with curb ramps, sidewalks, road paving, things like that that have to do with the city, the government. My job is 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. So every day I wake up at 6.30, I drink some coffee, I pack some lunch, which is usually chicken and quinoa, and then I'll kiss Munko, and then I will head out to my car before heading out to work. It is a 30 minute drive, which is a lot of time every single day. So what I usually like to do is I listen to podcasts. My favorite one so far is called Philosophize This, which teaches a lot of philosophy and all the ancient ways of thinking and all the wise men who came before us. And it really just shows me different ways of thinking about life. And it shows me new perspectives and just really broadens my horizons. And it's honestly really relaxing to listen to as well. There are some great people in here too. There's Aristotle and what it means to be a good human. There's Socrates and how he pissed off an entire city simply by asking questions and making people doubt their own beliefs. There's Buddha and his four noble truths. There's Confucius and his relationship goals. There is Nietzsche and his views on suffering. If you're interested in this podcast, I'd recommend a few episodes here, which are 1 through 14, 90 through 95, and 110. They're pretty spread out, but those are the episodes I've listened to and I just think that they were really enlightening and deep and introspective. What I do for my job is usually I follow my Ben supervisor, my supervisor Ben, around and I'll listen to whatever he tells me to do. I mean, he's a pretty cool, chill, laid back kind of guy, easy going. And I never knew this, but if you actually wanted something to change in your city, all you have to do is call your city hall and complain about it. Like seriously, he's been telling me about all these stories, about all these people who complain about the most minute things, and they make a big deal out of it, and it gets changed. Like seriously, he'd be telling me stories about people who complain about two centimeter cracks on a sidewalk, complaining that it might be a trip hazard, oh no, or how, how oh even worse, how the new pavement is not the same color as the old one, so it's not matching. Oh my god. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. Like seriously, people be complaining about anything and everything these days. <sighs> As a result of the complaining, we'll usually go out and look at, uh, you know, different curb ramps, sidewalks, pavements. We'll take a look at them, take some pictures, we'll draw some plans, specifications, go back to the office and do all that, and maybe write up some reports, and hire some contractors eventually. And then we'll, those contractors will do work, and we'll pretty much watch over them to make sure they're not slacking and taking selfies on the job. And then we'll go back and write up reports on how they did and any other specifications and make sure everything's all neat and tidy and good to go. The cool thing, the coolest thing about this job is that whenever we go out to the field, I get to drive the company vehicle that says City of Sammamish so I feel all official and cool. Ha! No, but seriously, it's really cool. I mean, I feel pretty cool because sometimes I drive on the sites and there'll be people asking me questions like, oh, when is this project done? Even though I barely have any clue what I'm doing. But I feel, for that moment, I feel like I'm special. So that's all that really matters. So far, it's been really fun. I've learned a lot of things. I've learned how certain mechanical Construction machines look absolutely badass. I've learned that it's really complex how a city works and how much bookkeeping there is in the most simplest of things and how everything is stored 
in this huge database and in these maps and just how complex everything works together. I've also learned that it's fun to learn new things and that it's fulfilling to see things that you actually implement being implemented in. To see the things that you design being implemented in the real world. That way you can see how much it affects real people when you go out, you know, into the streets. It's just like, you see that? I made that, I made that. I get home at around 6 p.m. every day and I pay for parking for two hours because after 8 p.m. it's free until the next morning. So I'll pay for two hours parking every night, which is about $5. And then I'll go home and I'll just relax. I'll usually upload every photo that I took that day to Google Photos so I can store it all in my database and remember everything. And then I'll usually chill. I'll watch YouTube videos. I'll do some reading, some writing. Oh, so cute. Little baby childhood. Oh. Writing the next YouTube video, writing my diary, whatever. I'll edit a video if I have something going on, if I'm working on a current video and I have some clips that are already filmed, then I'll usually edit that too. And then I'll eat, cook, whatever, you know, just, you know, and, and, you know, whatever I feel like doing. And then I go to sleep until the next day. I usually don't go to the gym on the weekdays that much anymore just because I get home pretty late at six and then I have to be in bed that night. And I don't want to spend too much time at the gym anymore just because I feel like it's not really worth it. I know, I know, it sucks to hear me say that, right? It's like, Trong, you don't go to the gym that much anymore. Hear me out. First of all, first of all, the bus pass doesn't work anymore. My UW ID doesn't work summer quarter. So I have to pay 250 for every bus ride, meaning Every time I want to go to the gym, that's about two hours and five dollars right there. And then once I get home, I barely have any time to do anything. And after all this, I still try my best to find time to call people who really matter to me, my friends and my family. I usually just call them and ask them random stuff and see how they're doing. And it's usually a really good time. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. My name's Trong. Leave a comment down below what you guys are up to this summer because I'm curious as to what my viewers are doing and I hope you guys are honestly having a great time this summer. I know I am. I feel very fulfilled. I'm very grateful for all of you. Honestly, I'm just so grateful. I could cry right now, but I won't because I'm not a little sissy. <laughs> but, but seriously though, I'm very grateful for you guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see more videos just like this. Also, follow Monko and me on Instagram because, you know, you know you want to see Monko. How can you say no to that little cute little face? My name's Trong, and I'll see you guys next time. Meow. I'm a cat. <laughs>、um, excuse me, sir, but the pavement does not match, and therefore does not meet my divine tastes and exquisite endeavors and enigmas. And <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but there's two sub mirrors here, but there's two sub mirrors here. I'm walking there for the first time. 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 I'm walking there for